G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to a very special and a very unique video on the channel. This is hopefully the first in a brand new series of content that I will be producing. Very interested to see what the response is on these career mode growth and tips and tricks videos. Definitely want to do them in the future. Let me know if you want me to upload more of these career mode tips and tricks videos and also make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below if you are new around here we are posting career mode content on the daily but this video will be covering the best team in FIFA 17 career mode history as you can see I have simulated six seasons into the future towards the back end of the sixth season so virtually the seventh season may 2022 i have put manchester city into the hyundai a league and we have dominated we have grown the world's best young talent into the greatest team in career mode history so what i will do is i will show you guys the squad report show you what it looks like now and whilst i am talking about a specific player i will overlay their stats from a couple of seasons from the beginning of the career mode from the end of Season 1, and from the end of Season 4. So without further ado, let's go across to the squad report and have a look at some of the players. So first up, we have Jack Butland. He is now 29 years old in 2022. I have got it so that most of the players in this video are now past their peak or at their peak. I know, of course, it's different for goalkeepers, and a few of our players are hitting their peak now, but for the majority of our outfield players, they are around the late 20s, early 30s mark. So Jack Butlin, the English goalkeeper, he has grown to an 89 rating here. Valued at 44 million. And looking at his goalkeeping stats in the bottom right hand corner, he has now got 99 goalkeeper kicking, which is fantastic to see. 89 goalkeeper reflexes. And his lowest stat is 82 for goalkeeper diving. If you look up the top right to his reactions, he also has 99 in the physical reaction stat, which is just crazy to see. We all know how overpowered he is in games, so pretty crazy to see what he's going to be like at 89 overall. Coming down now, we have Hector Bellerin, the Spanish right back from Arsenal. Taking a look at his stats now, 99 acceleration. 99 sprint speed that is absolutely insane taking a look at his technical stats as well you could definitely play him higher up the field in a right mid uh, situation if you needed to 94 ball control 81 crossing 94 short passing and an 89 slide tackle that's a defensive stat but that's fantastic to see moving on to our starting center backs now and rafael Varane from real madrid he has grown to a 91 overall, making him one of the best players in this squad. 29 years of age, as you can see, he is about to hit the 30-year-old mark, which is when centre-backs start to decrease. But looking at his stats at the height of his career, 92 marking, 90 strength, 96 reactions, very pacey defender as well as he has 84 sprint speed. 91 stand tackle and slide tackle. He's got some absolutely crazy stats. Valued at 48 and a half million pounds. The biggest problem with Varane was keeping him every season. I started him every single game, but his morale still was very unhappy. Not sure why, but virtually every transfer window, he wanted to leave. I managed to hold on to him. There's a few players that I will show you at the end of the video that I didn't manage to hold on to that were really, really growing. Moving down now, another 90 rated player. It is Eric Bailly from Manchester United. A little bit controversial maybe that I am using Manchester City, but that was more for financial reasons to keep a hold of the players and demand contracts wise. But the Ivorian has hit 90 overall, 28 years old. And just like Varane, he has some insane stats. I would even argue that he has better stats than Rafael Varane, even though he's one overall less. 91 sprint speed for a centre-back is absolutely overpowered. I would definitely recommend getting him in a career mode. Even get him in the ultimate team. He's just a freak on this game. 93 jumping, 88 interceptions, 95 slide tackle. That is just absolutely crazy. This guy is a dead set machine. Our left back for this world class squad is Levan Kazawa from PSG. The controversial left back has hit an 88 rating. But if you look to the right hand side, how balanced are those stats? Virtually every stat is a green rating, which is 
insane. Only four stats aren't in the green. Free kick accuracy, long shots, volleys, and penalties. So this guy is the ultimate player. That is crazy. That I can't believe that. 98 short passing, 83 stand tackle, 92 slide tackle, just like Bellerin. You could probably push this guy up and put him into a left mid, left wing position. Now the highest rated player in this squad is the most expensive player in the world. It is Paul Pogba from Manchester United. The Frenchman has hit a 94 rating at 29 years old, meaning he is the same as Messi. And if you thought Kazawa's stats were good, look at this. Not a single orange stat, two yellows. He's marking and he's balanced are the lowest stats. 99 long shots, 99 dribbling, Oh my god. His stamina, his strength, everything is insane. I have never seen a player become this good on FIFA. Imagine 99 dribbling as well. Imagine the 99 long shots. You could literally get this guy from any distance, belt it, and expect it to end up top left-hand corner. Paul Pogba, take a bow, son. Moving on now to one of the most hyped-up players in this FIFA. It is Usman Dembele from Borussia Dortmund. The right midfielder has hit an 89 overall, and as you can see, he is still growing. He is one of the players I was talking about that are not even at their peak yet. 25 years of age. I can only expect a, a, two, a season or two for him to hit the 90 mark, and he's got some crazy stats. 99 finishing, 99 ball control, 97 acceleration. He's dribbling up to a 94 as well. His passing stats are amazing. Not as balanced as Pogba and Kazala, but still an absolutely amazing player on this career mode series, and I could well expect him in the coming seasons. When he, when he is Pogba's age to get some balanced stats like Pogba has. Another Manchester wonder kid here, it is Anthony Martial. Louis Van Gaal's deadline day signing has hit a 90 overall. Surprisingly, he is not growing anymore. 26 years old, so only a year older than Usman Dembele. He has stopped growing, but he has some insane stats. As you would expect, a lot of these players are going to have crazy good stats. But 99 finishing, 91 dribbling, 89 ball control. And then if you look at his physical stats, probably the paciest player in the world at this point. 98 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. That is so dangerous. You could have him left mid, you could have him striker, centre forward. This guy is going to get the job done. Now, a player that I am looking forward to using in a future career mode series, potentially, it is Alan Halilovic, the Croatian attacking midfielder, 25 years old, and he has hit 89 overall. And just like a lot of these wonder kids, you do expect him to grow a little bit further. Not too much growth in this final season, but taking a look at his stats, absolutely crazy. 97 ball control, 91 long pass, 86 long shots, and 89 short passing. Another absolute gem. He's got great acceleration, great sprint speed. His physical stats are pretty good. Only thing that worries me a little bit is his stamina and his strength. Strength, not so much, but stamina, definitely. I really like my players in career mode to have a pretty decent stamina, at least 70 or higher. But overall, he looks like a very, very solid player. Hopefully, if through some training, you could get his stamina, some certain stats to get a little bit higher, but still a very, very decent talent. Now, Paulo Dybala, the Argentine striker. He has hit 92, and I've got to tell you, a lot of the strikers that we have on our squad are dead set amazing. A lot of 90 rated, high 80 rated talents in here. Dybala has 99 acceleration, 99 dribbling, 99 ball control, 97 long shots, 90 volleys, 96 finishing. Absolutely insane. And I can say from experience of using this guy in the past, he is so good on career mode. I would 100% recommend picking him up if you have the finances. Moving down now to another 90 rated striker. It is the Evertonian and the Belgian Romelu Lukaku. The beast. 29 years old, 90 overall, valued at 56.5 million pounds, and he has some very, very good stats, especially in the physical department. 97 strength as a striker is ridiculous, and 96 sprint speed as well. You could just play through balls to this guy. He outmuscles most centre backs, and he scores. His finishing is at 88, his ball control 84. A little bit disappointed with a couple of the technical stats, but. 
still some very good stats. 91 long shot, 93 short, oh, sorry, shot power. A little bit disappointed with his penalty stats considering he is a 90 rated striker, but in my opinion, looking at the stats, the best way to use Lukaku would be to play it through, outmuscle the center back, and have the shot. Now, a player that was originally at Manchester City, and I decided to keep in and see how he goes. I wasn't planning on using him, but he has turned out to be very, very good. It's Alexander Zing Zinchenko. I apologize if I butchered that name, but I do believe... He is Ukrainian, only 25 years old, and he's at 86 overall. Just like a lot of the players, his physical stats are quite decent. His acceleration and sprint speed in the high 90s. His stamina is a very, very poor 57, which is disappointing, but a lot of decent stats here. A lot of orange and a lot of yellow, but a lot of high greens. Another Manchester City talent it is Kalichi Iannaccio, the Nigerian striker has hit an 88 rating. Now, I know a lot of people love to pick up Ian Nacho in the first and second seasons of career modes, and here is a good reason why to. 99 acceleration and sprint speed. I get excited every time I see that. It's just so overpowered. 93 shot power, 89 finishing. This guy looks like an absolute freak to have in your squad. Not the best long, sorry, not the best long shot. I'm going to say 90 friggin' long shot. That's amazing, but... Not the best free kick and penalty stats. Wouldn't be using him for set pieces. I'd definitely be using him in a similar fashion to what you would use Romelu Lukaku in. And another Manchester City talent. They've got a lot of amazing youngsters here. Leroy Sane, the German right midfielder. 88 overall at 26. Still some room for improvement. But just like a lot of the players, I'm going to get very, very excited here. 99 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. It is absolutely fantastic to see. And another fantastic thing to see, compared to a lot of the youngsters, he has decent stamina. 80 stamina, very happy to see that. His ball control and dribbling stats are quite impressive as well. Looks like a very good uh, player that you could even push up to striker because he's got 90 finishing, 83 shot power as well, and 83 long shots. So you could definitely use him in more than one role. Now, Geronimo Ruli, I didn't even know this guy was in the squad until I actually loaded up the career mode series and saw him in the Manchester City loan easily. So this guy was out on loan in the first season, and I was like, do I cut him like I'm going to cut Angus Gunn? But I decided to keep Ruli in the squad. He looked half decent, and... It, my, my, my queries have paid off. At 30 years of age, this guy has hit 87 overall, which is very, very impressive. One, oh no, sorry, two overalls less than Jack Butlin, which I was not expecting. Taking a look at his individual stats, some really high stats. 89 goalkeeper kicking and goalkeeper reflexes. And then if you look up to his reactions, 96 reactions. This guy is definitely pushing it with Jack Butlin. Definitely going to be giving each other a bit of a battle. Now, a Manchester City talent that I'm not going to talk about for too long. I remember back in FIFA 12, FIFA 13, when Mangala was at Porto, how much of a wonder kid he was. But in this series, I decided to keep him to see how he would turn out. Not very good. 83 overall at 31 years of age. Wouldn't recommend picking him up. Kingsley Coman from Bayern Munich slash Juventus. He was in the squad as well. Finished up at an 88 overall. 25 years of age. And he has a lot of 99 stats. 499 stats in fact. That's acceleration, sprint speed, agility, and long shots, which is every time you see someone with 99 long shots, that's how you know it's a good freaking player, an OP player. And those are some damn good, some damn good stats. Unsurprisingly, a lot of his red and orange stats have to do with defensive capabilities, which I am not too worried about at all. But in the overall long run, Kingsley Coman looks like an absolute freak. Luke Shaw, he is at an equal rating with Kazawa. 88 years old, not 88 years old, Jesus. 88 overall, 26 years old, and he is definitely going to overtake Kazawa in the coming seasons, I would predict. His stats are very, very strong. Once again, quite a pacey, all-round decent player that you could put up into a left mid role. Andre Gomez is a very hyped up player in career mode this year. Personally, I don't enjoy using him on the field. I did use him in my Chelsea career mode series if you were around here earlier in FIFA 17, but stats wise, in 2022, he's a freak. He's 90 overall at 28 years of age, but I can tell you that he's been stuck at about 90 overall for I think about the past season or two. So definitely can get him there a lot earlier. 
His stats are pretty well rounded. Nothing out of this world. No 99s that I can see, but a lot of his ball control and dribbling stats seem very, very decent. 94 dribbling, 87 ball control, 92 short pass. Uh, his finishing is at an 81. Stamina up to an 83 as well, which is definitely what you want to see in a central midfielder. Definitely want to have a very fit midfielder. 85 strength as well, which is handy. You can put him into a CDM position, it seems. His stand tackling stats at an 88, which definitely proves that he can play CDM. Delhi Alley, an absolute wonder kid and someone that really surprised me in this series. He was stuck at 81 for the longest time and then all of a sudden I check and he's up to a 90 now he has plateaued and has been stuck at 90 for a little while here but that doesn't discount how good his stats look 98 ball control 97 short passing 92 stamina which you know how much I love stamina 91 and 92 acceleration and sprint speed very, very decent looking card. A little bit disappointed with his shooting stats. I definitely expected him to be able to bang them in from long distance a lot better. 84 long shots, which is still decent, but for someone of Delhi Alley's capabilities, I was really, really hoping that he got them up to the high 80s, low 90s. Saul is another player that did plateau. He has plateaued a little bit, but he still looks like a very decent player. 88 overall. The Atletico Madrid man has 88 stamina, 91 reaction. 92 dribbling as well and 85 ball control. Definitely some very, very solid stats. And I'm very, very excited to use him potentially in a future career mode series. Looks like another player that you could definitely put anywhere in the midfield. Attacking midfield, central midfield, center defensive midfield as he has 86 stand tackle as well. And as I have said, looks like a very balanced player. Only one red stat, which is volleys which is a little bit disappointing, but overly not too worried about. Another centre-back here, another Premier League centre-back, and it is Kurt Zuma, a very hyped-up wonder kid. At 27 years of age, the Frenchman has hit an 89 overall, and he's got some alright stats, a lot of orange, a couple of red, and a lot of yellow, but the stats that he has green, he has them in the high greens. 92 jumping, 89 strength, very good to see that. And then, even more remarkably, 96 slide tackle, 89 stand tackle, 90 marking, all very, very important stats that you want to see in a center back. From the stats you can see, it doesn't really seem like he will be able to play anywhere but center back, which is fine by me because he looks like quite a solid center back at that. Moving on now to a very, very decent looking wonder kid, only 24 years old in this series. So here's another player that I would expect to hit the 90s in the coming seasons. It is the English wonder kid, Marcus Rashford, 51 million valuation. And look at that 99 sprint speed and acceleration once again. That is just absolutely crazy to see. Very, very good technical attributes as well. 99 volleys, 90 short pass, 88 shot power, 92 long shots, 89 ball control, 97 dribbling. That is just overpowered. Definitely another player that I want to use at some stage this year. We continue on with the Wonder Kid sensations. Renato Sanchez, already at an, a 90 overall at 24 years of age. How good is that? It just makes me wonder, will he get to the same level as Paul Pogba in career mode? Will he get to a 94 rating around the late 20 stages? 99 stamina as well, which is just brilliant. Definitely what you want to see in a midfielder. And once again, he can play anywhere in the midfield. If you look down to his technical attributes, 99 long shots, 93 standing tackles. So he can play attacking midfield, center midfield, defensive midfield, anywhere. Heck, if you even look at his acceleration and sprint speed, he could play on either wing, in my opinion. Another one of the players that could become one of the best in the world in real life, and he's definitely got up to that standard in this career mode. Now, a player that I was a little bit disappointed in, Casper Dolberg from Ajax. Still a young player that has a lot of room to improve, but to only be at an 83 overall was a little bit disappointing for me. I was expecting him to be a bit higher, but you never know. He might be able to hit his peak in 25-26 and 
get to that high 80s, low 90s stats. Still some decent stats though, 92 shot power. Finishing a little bit disappointing at 76, but as I said, room to improve. As we continue down here, I'm going to skip over a couple of the poor Manchester City players, but one Manchester City player that was on loan that I wanted to point out was Enes Unal. I didn't give this guy any game time at all. Didn't really give a crap about him, to be honest, but he still managed to hit 82 on his own devices. 25 years of age, so only briefly I'll touch on him, but he could definitely be a player that could really work out for a lot of road to glory career modes and you could pick up on the cheap in the second season. Antonio Sanabria, one of the final strikers in this list. 82, sorry not 82, 88 overall at 26 years of age. Looks like a very, very decent card or decent player. His physical stats are just amazing. 74 stamina, 86 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, which is crazy to see. And then his technical stats, a lot of reds, a lot of oranges, but some very decent greens. Ball control and dribbling high 90s, 86 long shots, 85 volleys, 87 finishing, 84 heading accuracy. That is just crazy good to see. As we continue down, it is another English talent and it is John Stone. Starts at Manchester City in a career mode and he's 27 years old here. 88 overall, but I could honestly expect to see him get a little bit higher. He was very unfortunate throughout this save with injuries, which kept him out a lot of the time for half the season. So I would definitely expect to see him get 90 overall if he didn't have these unfortunate injuries. 94 reactions, 85 jumping, 82 strength, all very good things that you want to see. And at 27 years old as well, he's still growing, which is definitely a good sign. Taking a look at his defending stats as well, 88 slide tackling, 86 stand tackling, and 89 marking, which is very good to see. And it seems like you'd be able to play the ball around the back line with him as well, as he has 98 ball control, 91 short passing, which is great. Another Manchester City and England talent here, it is Raheem Sterling, and at 27 years of age, he is at the same overall as John Stones, an 88 overall, 99 acceleration and sprint speed once again some very solid physical stats and some pretty average technical stats to be honest only really decent at ball control dribbling and passing finishing all right as well but a lot of stats that have plateaued like if you look at shot power volleys penalties curve i would have expected them to be a little bit higher with raheem sterling long passing as well only an 80 but still a half decent player coming towards the end of the list now marco verratti comes into the affray and it he is at a 90 overall 29 years of age he has been stuck at this like Andre Gomez for a few seasons now. Since about 26 or 27, I would say, he's been up around the 90 mark, but his stats are very, very decent. 80 stamina, 89 reactions, 94 balance. Not quite sure what balance does, to be honest, but, you know, I guess it's only going to help. His mental stats are very good. 90 vision, 90 aggression, 84 interceptions, 89 composure, but then taking a look at the technicals, very, very balanced. 97 dribbling, 91 long passing, 81 marking, 93 short pass, 93 stand tackle, which once again proves to me that he could play anywhere in the midfield. Maybe not center attacking midfield as his long shots, his finishing stats are a little bit poor, but center mid, center defensive mid, I could definitely see him working out there. But someone that could definitely play higher up the field, maybe even striker, is Ross Barkley, another English talent. And at 28 years old, he has hit 89 overall. Nobody knows if he's going to be able to reach that potential in real life as he has had a bit of a poor season with Everton so far, but some very good stats in this save. 85 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, but a lot of his technical stats really, really impressed me. A lot of them don't impress me at all, mainly the ones that have to do with defending, but his attacking ones, his ball control, 93, dribbling, 93, long passing, 97, long shots, 89, 83 shot power, 92 short passing. That is cool. Our third to last player is going to be Serge Aurier, who is at 88 overall at 29 years of age. One overall higher than Hector Bellerin, but a little bit older. Some very, very balanced stats for him. And once again, he is a player that could definitely push higher up the field into a right mid, 
right wing position or just sit back at right back as you would expect. You could even put him in the centre back role. He would really work out anywhere in my opinion. His defensive stats are 90 slide tackle, 89 uh, stand tackle, 87 marking. But then his physical stats have 93 jumping, 84 strength. 90 stamina, 90 stamina is quite nice, could definitely work out quite nicely when you have a lot of fixture congestion. 88 acceleration, 87 sprint speed, definitely looks like a very handy player to have in your career mode. Now another Manchester City player that I'm sure not many of you guys care about, but I care about a lot as a Australian football supporter, a Wanderers supporter, and an all around Aaron Moy supporter, it is Aaron Moy, he's on loan at Huddersfield from Manchester City, but I decided to keep him, see how he grew, and he has started to decrease now as he's 31 years of age in 2022, but at one point he was at the 77, 78 mark, which is quite decent to see. I'm not gonna cover him too much, but if anybody else is interested like me, there's his stats. And finally, Kevin De Bruyne, now starting to go down. He was a 91 previously, now at a 90 at 30 years of age, but definitely one year past his peak. Some very decent stats, but this just shows how much players start to decrease at 30 years of age, which is quite disheartening because he's gone down seven stats in acceleration in one season. What is that about EA? Still some very decent stats like his stamina, 84, a lot of good technical stats like ball control, dribbling, long passing, long shots, 94 long shots, Jesus. But still very disappointing to see him going down like that. Not his fault, it's EA decreasing people at 30 years of age. So throughout the entire six seasons, there were three players that started off and eventually left the side. I'll quickly go through these three players now. The first one is the Portuguese right midfielder Bernardo Silva. At 27 years of age, he has managed to get to an 88 overall. Very, very decent stats, especially his physical and a few of his technical ones. Nothing super amazing, but very good to see. 82 stamina, 92 acceleration. He's got 88 dribbling, 86 ball control, 89 finishing, and 87 crossing. So quite a decent player. Marco Asensio is one of the best players that we managed to, to develop throughout this this experiment, I guess you could say. The Real Madrid man has gone up to an 89 overall at 26 years of age, so perhaps he could go up a little bit more. He's got 95 ball control, 93 short passing, 94 long passing, and 86 long shots. That is crazy. His physical stats were a little bit more balanced, but nothing too amazing there, but definitely his technical stats were very good. And finally, Harry Kane did leave the club for Bayern Munich. The Englishman has gone gotten up to a 90 rating at 28 years of age, which is probably as high as he will get, but still very, very decent. Taking a look, his physical stats, his strength is decent, his sprint speed is decent, and his stamina is very, very good. Uh, his finishing wise, it's amazing. 94 finishing, that is damn good. 92 heading accuracy, and then 88 shot power. So definitely a very good player to pick up as well. But anyways, fellas, that will conclude today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy seeing how the best players in the world turn out in a few seasons time. Seeing some young, young wonder kids turning into the world's best and seeing some of the world's best only continue to grow. If you enjoyed this style of video, definitely leave a like on the video. Also, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you check out my social media links, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Twitter. All of those will be posted down below as per normal. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.